It's played host to some of the biggest moments in Jacksonville sports history. The annual border war between the Gators and the Bulldogs. I broke my chair. I came right to a chair. The site of the Gator Bowl for seven decades and the home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Everbank Field's evolution. Enters a new era. Tonight, a first-hand look at new features in one of the NFL's most exciting venues. We take you inside the newly renovated U.S. Assure Club. A bold new look on both sides of the stadium. TV monitors bigger than compact cars. And new places for fans to see all the action on the field. This is Jaguars All Access. Unveiling the U.S. Assure Club. Live from Everbank Field, here are your hosts, Nikki Kimbleton and Vic Michalucci. And you are looking live at Everbank Field on the north bank of the St. Johns River in beautiful downtown Jacksonville. The first preseason game is only 20 days away, and the inside of the stadium is going to look a lot different than what you're used to. And both the East and West U.S. Assure Club sections have undergone a multi-million dollar upgrade, giving fans one of the best sporting experiences in the world. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of Jaguars All Access, unveiling the new U.S. Assure Club. And let me tell you, fans have quite the experience ahead of them. Uh, they certainly do. So not only is there going to be a better team on this field that you can cheer for, this game day experience in the club seats, in the new U.S. Shore clubs, it is going to be unparalleled yes. to any other stadium in the NFL. So tonight, we're giving you the very, very first look at the finished product of more than six months of incredibly hard work. Both the East and West clubs have undergone renovations that really bring the fans and the team into the 21st century. And the theme for the two sides is, is black and white. And you're going to see that theme throughout these massive spaces, Vic. And you are also looking, well, it's a great experience here. And it is wonderful. We've got a lot of behind the scenes for you. Everything has changed. Let me tell you, take a look at these patios. These are one of a kind at the 50 yard line here in the clubs on both sides, Nikki. Wonderful way to interact with other fans mm -hmm. and catch the game. Yeah, and these are just a few of the amazing changes that really Shad Khan has wanted from the beginning. And we are so excited about this. So here's a look at what this new space is going to look like when fans arrive for that first preseason game, which is going to take place on August 20th against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, take a look at this, folks. All right, so these photos show what the old clubs looked like and then the upgrades that have been put in place. I mean, it's almost like the city got a new stadium. And much of the space has been opened up. Um, there's there's places now where you can sit down, you can grab a bite to eat, you can get a drink, and you're not going to miss a minute of the action on the field or the other games that are being played elsewhere on Sundays. So one of the men to thank for that is Nick Sobic. He is the team's director of strategic initiatives, and he has been working hard, very hard over the past six months to make it really the best fan experience in the entire NFL. Welcome inside to the U.S. Ashore Club. This is Nick Sobic, one of the people that was in charge of making all this happen. First of all, it is beautiful. I feel like we're in a five-star hotel. Thank you. That's actually one of the one of the nicest compliments we've been paid so far because that's exactly what we we're going for in, in this space. Up the stairs and around the corner, the main concourse for the West Club. You'll notice three floors of brand new everything from concession stands to bars to air conditioners, all with an upscale feel. Yeah, we actually did a lot of data analysis and research to understand what our fans on the west side of the building want. And they want country club, they want high end, they want, you know, really nice hotel vibe. And we, we did our best to sort of deliver on that design initiative. So now we're on the east side and it's right. distinctly different. Very different. It's geared more towards millennials, the Jaguars' fastest growing fan base. The spaces are customizable to cater to special events as well. Anything from a business meeting to a uh, banquet or wedding reception. But let's face it, people are here for what's outside, the game. 
Both lounges open up to new giant patios with spectacular views. Fans with club tickets can take in the action from midfield, and if they want to upgrade, they can enjoy the game from the new bar rails. So this is not bad at all. 50-yard line? This might be the best seat in the house. Yeah, you look comfortable. Comfort is key. All the new club seats are padded and gray to keep you cooler on hot days. It wasn't easy to make so many changes in the offseason. February 22nd was our true start date. Turned this job around in 130 days. That's calendar days, and we pretty much worked every day since we started. 1,000 construction workers put in a total of 30,000 man hours to finish the job on time and without any hiccups. So they had to come out here and they had to cut these concrete beams. Previously, this thing would have run all the way out to the bowl with an angle and a bunch of seats on top of it. So this was a flush cut. We cleaned it up, made it look pretty. They took out 3,500 tons of concrete to create the new areas. The stadium has about 2,000 less seats, but that's more fun in the common areas. Really cool stuff here. It looks like this is going to be the best fan experience for anybody in the country. I think without a doubt. I know my experiences here are going to be a lot better. Um, love to stand up and move around in the clubs. I don't think anybody else offers this in the NFL. Those behind the renovation say you won't be disappointed. It cost us about $26 million to do this project, and the project was about 26 weeks long. So we spent $1 million a week for the last 26 weeks, and, and we think it's money well spent. One million dollars a week. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big That's budget, like, but let me tell you, it is not disappointing. Budget. It is really cool. We did a complete lap around the stadium. Yeah. There are changes all over. You looked really comfortable in that seat. Uh, and, they had to pry me out. Like well, security almost had to come and be like, all right, sir, you're done. Your time here is over. <laughs> and I'm really anxious because, you know, I love that they did the gray seats to, to keep fans, um, you know, a little cooler. Yeah. Did, did it really make a difference? It did. It did, especially because we were shooting that part at high noon. I figured. So we're talking maybe mm. 93 degrees, 94 degrees. It felt better. Still hot out there. <laughs> yeah, but another interesting thing that we saw is they redesigned the south end zone completely, and that means a whole new experience for fans that are taking in the pregame prowl. How about this? You're going to get exclusive access to the players during that pregame prowl. Plus, there's going to be a lot of technological advances as well. So Channel 4's sports director, Sam Kavaris, is joining us live in the south end zone and Sam you got an advanced look at all this. Nikki, the south end zone has always been an interesting space for the Jaguars because it's had a cool zone underneath because, as you know, this part of the stadium can get very hot. And a lot of fans take some refuge here even during the games as well. But they've decided to open it up, and you can probably tell that there's a constant breeze blowing through here, or even on a 100-degree day like today. These low seats that are going to be right here will not only give you access at the end of the prowl, but during the game as well. It's a whole new reimagination of the south end zone that, as you mentioned, is going to enhance the prowl a bit. There might be a big Jaguar head here that we see at Wembley at the, as the players enter the stadium. But more than that, the Jaguar administration listened to their fans about what they wanted and made these changes accordingly. I talked with Chad Johnson, the director of sales, about this south end zone and how special he thinks it's going to be. I think people are going to be surprised how different this looks when they look at it. I mean, it yeah. used to look like that in. Now this is going to have a, its own unique kind of look, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, we've been trying to do that all across the stadium, as you know, and finding not only unique to our stadium or unique to Jacksonville, unique to the country for fans to experience. And this here on the field with the energy and even these loge boxes here, the, the privacy and amenities of a premium seat, but the energy of feeling like you're on the field mm -hmm. will be so unique. And, and I even think, I mean, I think you'll feel the guys stomping on the ground. Sure. I think you'll feel the fans screaming around you. So it's, it's really its first of its kind in the NFL. So where does this idea come from? Out of your head, out of Shad's head, <laughs> out of the architect's head? Because when yeah. you ask Shad why, his first answer always is, well, why not? Right. You know, what I can tell you about Shad and Mark Lamping is they continue every day to look at me and go, what's next? What around the stadium can we do different? Bring me ideas, bring me opportunities, and let's discuss what the best one is. This why came from them challenging us to find something unique, and we noticed there was a market for the smaller premium hospitality, not a 20-person mm -hmm. suite, but someone that has six people that wants to just knock their socks off. Mm -hmm. So we, we noticed that through our phone calls and market research. So how do we create a smaller premium hospitality area in a stadium? 
and we realized if we're already going to be building this super vomitory here, why not incorporate some seating into it? Mm -hmm. What's unique about this than anywhere else is this is an add-on to your ticket. So you could own a seat in any of these seats around here and spend a quarter or two on the field, head back up to your seats and go back and forth. And this whole thing about the players on their way to the game interacting with fans, certainly this is part of it, but that whole opening, yeah. that whole prowl is really something that you guys have tried to tweak and make it something special. Yeah, well, well the prowl's one of a kind in sports again, right? Walking through the fans and the general fans, and they'll still be able to do that. Our, our fans will be able to do um, line the prowl for them to come out, but then they'll end right here with this premium group. So they'll have a small, intimate space and the last space you'll see the players before they enter the field. So I think that alone is worth the admission to this space right here. So for an individual, you're, you're able to service somebody who wants to come and spend $50 and somebody who wants to come and spend $500, yeah. right? Yeah, and, and, and that you don't want to go as far as saying plan for every fan, but that's kind of been our case, right? We want to, we want to be able to experience children, families, adults, business people of all different ranges, all different financial situations, and coming to a game is a special experience. So we need everybody to have the opportunity to do it. Chad's an interesting study himself, came here on a temporary basis kind of as a consultant, and the Jaguars liked him, and he liked it here so much, he was like, why don't I live here? And so he came to work for the Jaguars full time, like an awful lot of people have done, not only connected with this organization, but people who see Jacksonville firsthand as well. The little bit uh, that I've gotten to know Shad Khan over the last four years actually fairly well, uh, you know, you notice that he's a very competitive guy, very serious minded, likes to have a good time though but um, very competitive. So if Jerry Jones is gonna spend a million dollars a day building his stadium and talk about the Cowboys walking through the fans, Shad's gonna have a little better than that, and I think he's already accomplished that. This, of course, is all of phase one. Phase two is gonna be that whole other flex field and amphitheater that we'll talk about as they start that, they hope, and finish by spring of next year. Can't wait to see that. Too. All right. Thanks, yeah. Sam. So we are just getting started on this special edition of Jaguars All Access. Here's a look at some of the other features you will only see right here on News for Jacks. They are the biggest indoor TVs in the state of Florida. The technology behind these massive monitors and how it keeps fans plugged into all the action around the NFL. And up next, he's the new name behind the game day grub in the U.S. Ashore Club. Nikki's in the kitchen with Chef Kinoshita. At Everbank. Welcome back. We know that you love the football and the fun. But what about the food? Well, the Jaguars are continuing to amp up their fan experience by hiring a brand new executive chef with some Hawaiian flair. And our friend Nikki, she caught up with brand new Chef Sean. All right, thanks, Vic. You know, we're here in one of the many kitchens inside of Everbank Field. And I want to introduce you to a new face here as a member of the Jaguars. This is Chef Sean Kinoshita, and he's the new executive chef here for the team. And also for all the fans that are coming, first of all, welcome. Thank you, glad to be here. I know you're bringing some, um, some exciting changes. One of them is the freshness and quality and also a specialty of yours. Absolutely, you know, one of the specialties I have is sushi. Um, I've been working in Singapore restaurants, Chinese restaurants, so I have a very broad background. Um, but for me, you know, passion is they say farm to table, seat to table, farm to fork, you know, that's my goal, is to bring the ocean to the kitchen to the guests. And you have a, you actually have something to show us over here too, right? What do we have over here? Well, everybody has their fishing tails. Uh, okay. And oh, I, wow. as much as I'd like to say I caught this, <laughs> I picked up the phone and I called my vendor, but they have access to uh, fishermen who can catch fish for us. So and today, we have what we call a day boat striped bass, wild striped bass. And it was caught yesterday. So it's a pretty, pretty beautiful piece of fish. Yeah, it really is. And I know um, you're gonna show us how you fillet this. And while we do that, we wanna talk a little bit about um, what is new for a lot of the fans. You feed 60,000 people in one day. I mean, what is that like? Uh, 
as far as providing all the items that they want and also those fresh delicious items it's 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 very intense it's kind of like uh um your wife giving birth but then now you're responsible for 10 wives giving birth and it's your job to make sure you're there for every one of them and if you're not there you're in trouble so it, that, that's kind of how it is we have a lot of different kitchens we have a lot of different concepts we have a lot of different food a lot of different things going on and you know we, i need to be there um every day every time and it's not just the fans and those of you that are watching from home right now it's the team and that is a lot of pressure i mean i've talked before about how much food these guys go through in a single day yeah, yeah they go through a lot of food um 150 pounds of day boat grouper snapper is not unheard of in one day really yeah are, and how are they super excited about the sushi we haven't started that yet i just located a sushi chef finally okay so okay. that's in the process um, the most important thing for sushi is if you can see here is the rice. Mm -hmm. This is called tamaki gold and those of you who are familiar with sushi um, understand what it is. This is basically the Lamborghini of sushi rice. Um, a bag like this costs about $95. I love that analogy and there's you know, in addition to the sushi there's a lot more coming to pretzels for those of you who love carbs. All right. right? So th this is one of the things we're starting this year is we're making fresh homemade pretzels. Oh. So we're going to do one with stuffed the artichoke, spinach, Parmesan cheese. Mm. And we're planning to do a uh, hot dog wrapped in bacon, wrapped in pretzel dough. The other day, we actually made a sample of a 12-inch gator, uh, gator hot dog wrapped in pretzel. Okay, a hot dog wrapped in bacon, wrapped in pretzel dough. All right, you know, it's not like I love the sushi already, but wow, I mean, what great options. So thank you, Chef. We appreciate you um, doing this introduction with us, and we'll be checking back with you uh, many times throughout the year. You got it. I'm excited. I am excited, too. Vic, back to you. All right, thank you, Nikki, and aloha, Chef Sean. We appreciate that segment there. There are several new menu items for people that come here to the U.S. Ashore Clubs, both east and west side, and just reading the names, yeah, it makes me hungry. So we have posted a full list of those new menu items on our website, newsforjacks.com, slash Everbank Evolution. There's also information on three job fairs to fill food service positions, anywhere from sushi chefs to bartenders, cooks, and dishwashers can apply. Well, there is still so much more to come on Jaguars All Access, so do not go anywhere. Here's more of what you'll see tonight. He's the man with a plan. Jaguars owner Shad Khan speaks with Sam about his vision for Everbank Field and beyond when Jaguars All Access continues. Everbank Field has undergone several changes since first opening up in 1995. Vic was here at that first game. Today it seats more than 64,000 fans and it plays host to, of course, all the Jaguars home games, the Tax Slayer Bowl, the annual Florida Georgia game. And coming this November, it's going to be the site of the nationally televised matchup between the University of Notre Dame and the Naval Academy. And let me tell you, Nikki, it is so cool to see this stadium from its infancy into what it is now, especially this season and much of the changes here at Everbank Field have been thanks to Jaguars owner Shad Khan. He took over after buying the team from Wayne and Dolores Weaver back in 2011 and since then the fan ex experience has really really changed and this year it will not disappoint. Absolutely and Sam joins us once again live from the south end zone and Sam I know you had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one once again with Shad Khan about how his vision is becoming a reality. Nikki Shad reminded me and everybody that, you know, the stadium really needed renovations when you think about that it's 20 years old from the way it was rebuilt in 1995, from 1993 to 1995. So when you think about how technology has changed and how the fan experience has changed in that time, it's no surprise that they needed to make some changes. The one thing you learn about Shad is that he wants to do things and he wants to do them right. As he told everybody who works here, we're only going to build this once, so let's get it right. And as you heard me ask Chad Johnson, you got to be prepared because when you ask Shad why, his answer almost always is going to be, why not? I, I like the word you guys are using, reimagining. Yeah. I mean, uh, what was the impetus behind, behind reimagining both clubs, Shad? Well, I mean, this is a 20-year-old facility. Yeah. So how do we make it the best in the business? Uh, you create something people want to be a part of, and it really puts the stadium and the city in the best light. 
I mean, you remember, besides the NFL, we've got a lot of other things going on here. So it says a lot about the experience, says a lot about the city. Why a difference between the East Club and the West Club? I think people were surprised by that. Why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like if we want to have different experiences, uh, it should be different. So one is more casual, the other is more formal. And uh, this is a public stadium, obviously. Uh, you know, people use it. We want to have more use. So if you were looking for a more urban, uh, you know, Manhattan kind of feel, the, uh, you know, that'd be the other one. Here, it's more of a casual, more of a beachy feel. You really have captured a lot of Jacksonville culture here in the changes that you've made. What people, you, you listened to the fans, didn't you? Like, Absolutely. Like, hey, we like to stand, we like to walk around, we don't want to be tied to a seat, we want to have an experience at the stadium. Yeah. Uh, I think listening to the fans here, but also listening to the fans around the world. Mm. What would be something they would aspire to? Because the features we have here are really, you know, cutting edge. What's going on in the south end zone? Does that project start when this one's done? Uh, the south end zone, again, I think is going to be fabulous. Uh, it's the amphitheater, uh, the outdoor amphitheater with what we're calling a flex field. So uh, indoor practice facility that's been long aspired to, you know, it's going to be a reality. But then how we have it configured and imagined is, you know, Jacksonville, Florida at its best. It's open air, but yet can be closed for weather. Great design, uh, almost something iconic uh, that could be a signature landmark for Jacksonville. I don't think that it's uh, any stretch to say that Shad is a very smart guy, and I don't think it's too much of a leap to call Shad a visionary based on what he wants to do and the things he can control here in the stadium with his own money and in conjunction with the city. When I once asked him about the shipyard project, I said, did you ever ask, ask the guys to make it bigger? And he said, yeah, a lot of guys were like drawing strip malls. I'm thinking Sydney Opera House. And that's uh, kind of the way Shad Khan thinks in terms of the size. By the way, because we are live, I should let you know that Dante Fowler is not practicing today on a scheduled day off. Marquise Lee is also still out with that hamstring injury. So we'll update you on all that coming up in the Sunday Sports Zone as well. Sam, thank you. Certainly exciting stuff, and there's still so much more to come on Jaguars All Access. In fact, here's more of what you're going to see tonight. TVs so big, you can fit a compact car inside of them. Your first look at one of the coolest new features inside the U.S. Assure Club. Plus, team president Mark Lamping reveals how this major renovation will help grow the Jaguars fan base when Jaguars All Access continues. commercial break we moved outside ah. of the east u.s assure club there's a nice breeze i love it it this feels is great perfect. these bar rail seats they're new and they and are 50 yard line fantastic so you get yes. to sit here you can you know put your drinks and your food right here and then you get to watch i can see the whole field from the here entire plus field. we have those tiny scoreboards above us yeah <laughs> <laughs> they are I, huge a, a, anything but so uh, again we're giving you your first look at seeing shad khan's vision become a reality and you know there is one person who he really tasked with making that vision come true and that of course is the team president mark lamping now mark is is a veteran he has 20 plus years as an executive in professional sports and of course he runs all the team's operations as the president of the Jacksonville Jaguars and reshaping in Everbank field from the inside out has been his top priority over the past six months so Sam joins us live once again from the south end zone with what he had to say uh, to Mark you know, the fan experience has changed in the last 25 years when it comes to going to a sporting event. A lot of fans plan their whole day. In fact, plan their whole season around those Saturdays or Sundays that they go to football games. And it's not a three or four hour experience. For many of them, it's a seven or eight hour experience. Tailgating has become part of the culture. It's become some of an, of an art itself. And then when you come into the stadium, fans these days 
A, don't want to be locked down to one place, and B, don't want to be isolated from their friends, through social media, from their fantasy teams, or from the team that they used to root for they, before they moved to Jacksonville. As you mentioned, Mark Lamping is the president of the club and was clearly brought here by Shad Khan because of his experience building Bush Stadium in St. Louis and finishing the stadium that both the Giants and the Jets play in in New Jersey. Those two stadiums and the experience that he gained there led him to help renovate this one to its current position. I was driving over thinking about uh, all the changes here, and we were just talking about houses. You know, when you go look at houses, you go, oh, that's a colonial, that's a split level. It, is there a, like a, a name for a stadium like this, or, or do, do you make it fit its own environment? You know, I think you try to make it fit its own environment and fit what the needs of the customers are. Mm -hmm. What, you know, the people that are using it should really be the ones who define, you know, how it should look and how it should function. And you really have responded to not just the Jacksonville fans, but fans all over the world have said, look, we don't want to be tied to our seat anymore. We want to be able to have a literally an experience here at the stadium. Well, I don't, I think you hit the nail on the head there for certain. You know, what the Bud Zone has been, you know, the Bud Light Zone, you know, you have a situation where, you know, people aren't buying tickets there. They buy tickets elsewhere and then they migrate there. And we've seen it with what's happened with the North End Zone, with the FanDuel deck, and, and I think what we've done here with the clubs is to continue to give those fans that want the opportunity to do something other than just stay riveted to their seat. And we love fans that stay riveted to their seat, mm -hmm. but if they want to get up and do something, allow them to do it in a way that they can still feel like they're connected to the game. You know, my business has dramatically changed with the explosion of social media, and that really has become a part of every fan's experience now that you have to respond to. Well, there's no delays, you know. Mm -hmm. it, you know, this is an experiential world that we live in right now, and it's an environment where people want to communicate and be in touch uh, constantly. And if they're going to post something to social media, which is critically important to a very, very high percentage of people that not only you know in this market, but also that are Jaguar fans, they want to do it now. Mm -hmm. They don't want to take a picture and then wait till they get home and they can uh, establish a Wi-Fi connection and then upload it. That's too late. That's yesterday's news, even if it's a couple hours later. So yeah, we, we have to be reflective of that. And, we, and we've tried to do that with the upgrades in terms of Wi-Fi and improvement on the cell service. But at the same time, use the video boards in a way that we can be constantly providing the type of information that many of our fans want and they want to have it immediately. How do you strike that balance between we want people to pay attention with what's going on outside the stadium, but Generally, they're here to watch a football game. It, 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 does, it is a balance, and, and there's no question what we do in this market would not work in many other established NFL markets. Uh, you know, let's, let's say you're in Philadelphia, and you're putting up highlights of what the New York Giants are doing. Yeah. You know, that's, that's going to create issues, okay? But, you know, our market is, our market is, is, is different than that. What, what scares me the most is if we don't present our fans with the information that they want, it's not like they're going to do without it. They'll either say, I'm not going to come to the game because I can't get it, or they're going to come to the game and they're going to spend all their time staring at their smartphone because that's where they can get the information they need. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, Siri is going to say to them, why did you just spend $160 to be staring at me for the last two hours? And that's what scares me. <laughs> and that won't be the case here because every fan will have access to Wi-Fi in the stadium and an opportunity to stay up on social media and all the scores and fantasy as well throughout the stadium if you don't want to just sit there and look at the ribbon boards. And oh, by the way, there's going to be a product on the field that's probably going to be significantly better than it's been in recent years. In fact, Lamping said you can do all the renovations to the stadium, you can run the right ticket prices, have great food, and have giant TVs. But the first five things in terms of fans coming to game are, let's see, winning, 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 and winning. And they're hoping that that happens this year. All right, Sam, thank you very much. And if you want to see that better product, and if you also want to see the changes that have happened here at Everbank Field in the U.S. Assure Clubs, I got to tell you, you need to act fast because tickets are going fast. In fact, they are outpacing what the Jaguars thought they would 
in ticket sales up to this point. Okay, take a look at this. These are the eight home games, including the matchup in London against the Colts at Wembley Stadium. The regular season home opener versus the Green Bay Packers is, for all intents and purposes, sold out. The only inventory that remains are season tickets. So the other two biggest selling games are Denver and Oakland. And if you're looking to attend those games, don't wait, folks. Denver is the defending Super Bowl champion, and Oakland is really the trendy pick coming out of the AFC. So there are still <laughs> season tickets available, but here's the thing. There's only 600 seats left in the U.S. Assure Clubs, and the Jaguars expect those to go really quickly in the next coming weeks. So if you want to sit in the brand new U.S. Assure Clubs, you do really need to act fast. Okay, if you're interested in tickets to any of these home games, you can simply call the Jaguars, the number there, 904-633-2000. And when the Jaguars open at that first preseason home game on August 20th against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you're going to be able to watch that live right here on Channel 4. Kickoff is going to be at 7.30, but the pregame show is going to start at 7. All right, time to bring Vic Michalucci back in because, as you see, we've been talking a lot about You can't this. help oh, but my, notice I mean, it behind you. We've been talking about the fact that it's larger than a car, and, um, and now you're going to tell us all about these. Yeah, so we are looking at one of six of Florida's largest indoor televisions. We're talking about 940 square feet of what they call Nano Lumen TV. We're just going to call them giant <laughs> monitors here. You can watch the games. You can watch the action out there on the field. You can also watch games from across the NFL. And let's talk about the numbers here, Nikki, because I'm kind of a tall guy. I'm yeah. almost six foot five, six mm -hmm. foot four and three quarters. These things put me to shame. They make me feel tiny. We are talking about 12 by 19. And one of the guys with the Jaguars told me that you could fit four Toyota Corollas inside each of these screens. And again, this is one of six. Okay, so four Corollas. So like you. one, bottom left, <laughs> two, three, four, bottom right. Okay, that's how we're doing it. We're not going to stack the cars up to show you, but that is what we are talking about. So maybe you are grabbing a bite to eat. Maybe you're in line and the Jaguars start driving. They're going to get a touchdown. Blake Bortles goes back. You're on the backside. You can see it there. In fact, one of the Jaguars staff members told me that they tested it out. They could see it from the furthest parking lot. That's how bright and that's how big these screens are. So just one more reason that the Jags are enhancing that experience. Maybe you're taking excited. the kids to the bathroom. <laughs> it got me excited. I, I was over there calling <laughs> to get season tickets since there's only 600 seats left in the U.S. Assurance Clubs. I mean, I, there's just another reason that you need to act quickly if you want to be here for the season. Yes. Wow, these are great. Yes, right. so stay with us. There is still so much more to come in our special edition of Jaguars All Access. We're not finished yet. Take a look. They're the hot new items you'll see fans wearing to all this season's big games. A look at the new Jaguars merchandise you can sport to show your support. Plus, Vic sits down with a lifelong Jaguars fan whose company has invested big in the team's future. The CEO of U.S. Assure explains why he's all in next. Marco, pull up! All right, welcome back. We have moved outside again. 50-yard line seats. This is awesome. You know who else is awesome? Ty Petway. He's the CEO of U.S. Assure. Uh, we have been talking about U.S. Assure so much throughout this show. So first of all, tell me why your company decided to choose the Jaguars and decided uh, to do it now. Well, we've had a relationship with the Jaguars, basically going back to the very beginning, my family has. And uh, four years ago, we got into the relationship with the uh, with the London game and sponsoring the London game and when, when the opportunity came up and we knew that the clubs were going to be renovated we were going through a name change and some rebranding so it was a perfect time to really get involved more with the Jaguars um, and being part of the, you know, the community the Jag and the Jags which is a, a right fit for us at the right time. And you said it, you and your family have been with the Jaguars since the very beginning of the franchise. How cool yep. is it now to have the U.S. Assure clubs and to be able to shape the future? Uh, it's awesome, you know. It's 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 always fun to be a Jaguar, but this last four years have been really um, outstanding. You know, Shad's vision and Mark's execution. You know, it's a uh, it's changing times. It's a good time to be part of the Jaguar family. And you know, when when 
what goes on you know, in the stadium, starts putting victories on top of that, it's going to be really awesome to you know, experience in here. And Ty, tell me about the process, because you said it was a couple years back that you decided Let's get involved with the Jaguars in Everbank Field. Yeah, it was really easy dealing with Mark and, and Scott Massey. You know, we uh, kind of started the relationship when they first got to town. Um, we had a couple boxes for, for work and, and a lot of seats, so we kind of minimized that and really got into the London sponsorship. And then when uh, the opportunity came up for the club, um, we just jumped on it and we were, uh, you know, with them from the beginning, you know, kind of with every step of the way and uh you know we write the insurance on the actual process of, of remodeling you know we're in the construction insurance business so it was just a good fit for us and uh, we're excited it turned out as good as it did it's amazing in here so i was born and raised in jacksonville too so i have seen all the changes just like you i've never seen changes this big in this short of time what's your favorite part about this uh i think my favorite part is like the way we're now connecting the inside of the club to the action that's on the field you know before it was uh we all know how it was you know when you were inside you were kind of away from the game where now when you when you're inside you're still attached to what's going on you can hear and see the excitement out here and uh it's just going to be awesome and what is personally the, the place that we're going to find you if, if you're going to be in a spot what's what's your spot here ty uh, my spot's in section 114, row, row R over there. So okay. um, I'll, uh, I'll be milling around checking the whole thing out, though. So, uh, you know, I'm just I'm excited to be able to, you know, see the game from, from both inside and outside and, and really enjoy what's going on around here. And you're a cool cutting-edge guy. Do you like that they're appealing to being really progressive and just being an awesome fan experience for everybody that steps foot in here, not just the people in the club seats? Oh, yeah, without question. I mean, you know, the the way sports entertainment is now that you know you have to be on the cutting edge and you know when when Shad first bought the team he held up that ticket and said this is going to be the hottest ticket in town and and true to that you know it's it's the changes that have gone on and you know when when we start winning again this place is going to go nuts it's already going nuts with some victories it's going to blow awesome. the roof off i know you're excited i'm excited too Fire Ty Petway, Thanks, ceo man. of us ashore thank you so much have for your time yep. appreciate it still so much more exciting news ahead on our special of jaguars all access so do not go anywhere Here's a look at what we've got coming up next. The Jaguars are making a big push to get the community involved with the team. The family-friendly events you can soon take part in at Everbank Field. Plus, looking for a new jersey for your favorite new player? A first look at the tops, hats, and accessories you'll see in the stands at this year's big games. A firefighter's duty. Welcome back, everybody, to our All Access show, where we're showing you the first look at the brand new U.S. Assure Cubs. Joining me now is Steve Ziff. He is the Vice President of Marketing and Digital Media for the Jaguars. Uh, I know we were just talking about, you know, the ticket sales and how great they're going and how they're really exceeding expectations already. And a lot of that is because you're reaching out to fans in ways that you never have before. Um, one, one great example is this recent Pokemon Night. <laughs> Pokemon Night never gets old to talk about because it really is a great example of just opening up the stadium for people that don't get a chance to typically come here for football games and allowing them in to see the beauty of places like the U.S. Assure Club and the Vandalville and our spas and cabanas from Smart Pharmacy. And, and you know, it's really interesting that we had, we announced over 15,000 people that came here for that, mm -hmm. but we actually wound up seeing probably closer to 20, 22,000 people. Wow. And a majority of them were young and new to this environment, which is great. Yeah, and this is a way to, to get them in and, and get them with the fan base. You know, um, that's just one of the many different ways that people want to get their information they want to get their you know game stats for the Jaguars um, you guys are really catering to people on all levels now. we're trying and you know one uh, one good example of that is this coming Friday night is family night Florida mm -hmm. blue family night with Nickelodeon and you know we just didn't endeavor to do the same old scrimmage that we've done here which is a great event and typically attracts 15 to 20,000 people we wanted to step it up and really find a way to get families involved in a way that it was important to them so bringing in Nickelodeon to bring in slime mazes and all of their fun activities we thought was going to be a really nice touch that would really cater to a different demographic. Yeah, we were just looking at some of the pictures there, um, and it looks like a, a really a lot of fun. And I know the kids love the Nickelodeon, you know, interaction, especially with the slime, and yep. you see the ways that they can play there as well. So let's talk about that, um, that scrimmage on Friday night. I know a lot of times people get here, they get here super early because they want to get their really good spots. What's your suggestion for families that are coming out on Friday? I'd say get here early, but come here early with an intent to go to the Nickelodeon 
Nickelodeon sky patio experience. Okay. They're going to have the Slime Mountain and their giant maze and dome out in, the, in gates one and four, which is where most of our entry will be that night. But we're, we're going to be really directing everybody up to the sky patio in the south end zone, which is where the entire layout of the Nickelodeon experience is. And the reason it's inside the bowl is so families don't have to leave the scrimmage. They can watch football while their kids play for the first oh, time perfect. ever. It's climbing up Slime Mountain. Do they need to change your clothes for that? Well, so <laughs> just to make sure there are two types of slime variants and we chose the safer of the two for parents. <laughs> So <laughs> it's it's water soluble. It washes out of their clothes. Just bring a towel, and we'll have some towels here for kids as well for the trip home. And one quick thing we want to talk about too is is the 5K that's happening as well. Yeah, so the Stadium 5K is another great example of a way to just people do something different in the stadium and attract people that just typically don't come here. So you get run the stadium, run the 5K. It's all for our uh, Jaguars Foundation, and uh, it's a great experience for people to just have some fun, get get healthy, and then do it in a place like. Everbank Field. All right, Steve Ziff, thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back. Focus. It's what. Welcome back, everybody, to this special edition of All Access. Okay, so Fanatics is the new merchandise representative here at Everbank Field. And we wanted to show you just a little bit of the samplings of the great stuff you're going to get. Okay, so on the bottom of your screen, you're going to see some prices as we're showing you these outfits. All right, I want to start over here with this lady's uh, cool. It's like got the little, you know, sleeves on the side, <laughs> so you can get a little bit of air in there. And the, of course, the brand new Jaguar logo. Then over here, we have the proper of the Jaguars t-shirt um, really easy for you know dad or um, you know just a, a nice t-shirt you can throw on and don't forget the shorts down there as well and let me introduce you to my buddy mr. Quinn Manny Quinn right here <laughs> look at that showing this the t-shirt the shorts the hat this is perfect for those hot games, okay? We're talking about beginning of the season because we know it is going to be a scorcher out there. So you got that little island, Hawaiian, beachy type feel, especially if you're going up to the pool deck. That is certainly cool. Manny. I found this hat about like 30 seconds before we came back yeah. from commercial break, and I was like, this is really cool. So if anybody wants to get me a gift, anybody out there, right here, this hat. Let's move over to Mrs. Quinn. Mrs. Manny Quinn, you can see that light and the fabric is so good here. I'm trying not to knock it over, being real careful. <laughs> but you can feel for $32.99 what you get here. The fabric very light. Again, very, very important when we are out there in the heat talking about those scorching and temperatures, think, especially if it's a one o'clock game, oh, you know, right. oh, I know. you gotta. Which, which is why that last shirt, which is one of those Nike dry fit shirts over there. Yeah, this is well. right up my alley. I love this style right here. You can also get me this one, Nikki. I, you know, I Thank will. You. <laughs> now I know what to get you, absolutely. So it's so important because you see a lot of fans out here and they've got the old Jaguars logo. You see right here, new logos. Make sure that you update your stuff, okay? You don't wanna be going around with anything that's outdated. You wanna make sure that when the team sees you, they know that you are all in, that you show your support and it's great for them to come out and just see people in the merchandise. I have to show you the stuff over here. Jason, come over here. Okay, so, you know, we, we showed you a lot of the hats and the, you know, the visors and everything, but check out all the headbands. I mean, they have these wonderful, I mean, I, I'm a big headband person, especially when you're out there and it's hot and your hair gets all crazy. Or as it tends to do. It's just your hair between, that gets crazy or is it you that gets well, crazy? I get crazy at the Jaguars <laughs> games, but between one and four on any given Sunday during the season, the football season, um, it's been known to rain here. So how about throwing Never. a little headband? Also, you know, they have the clear purses down here. I'm going to turn this around for you, Jason, too, because there's, well, I thought I was, but yep, no, there we go. All right, we've got slippers, we've got lanyards. I mean, they have all kinds of great stuff over here. Even the hats, as we mentioned. Look at the hats. Smoothies. A lot of people around here into military. I love that Jaguars military appreciation hat. We do a lot of games where we honor our local men and women who are heroes. Yes, our local absolutely. Men and women in uniform. And that is really cool. You got your hands on this purse. I know. And the interesting thing is, remember, Everbank the Field Security wants you to have clear bags. And there that. you go. There you go. And we we have a whole other um, section down here. We want to walk down. Let's go to this we little roundabout. It? Yeah, we got to. Oh, did you see these shoes? Did you check out the like shoes? The kicks. Yeah, look look at those. Are those they are your awesome size? Too. Are they my size? I don't know if they're your size. And I have to mention too, Almost. the shirt that I have on right now, everyone always asks me about this shirt. I did get this online from Fanatics last year and they did have a few of them left. But I mean, you can be a Jaguar fan in every sense of the word, even like with USB ports. Of course, you got your decals, these buttons. I'm gonna try to turn this again. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need your, your it's strength. It's like you're shopping to turn for it. your son Brady right now. Well, and your husband and us because there's so many great. And, and us. I love the We're gonna turn it. Show you uh, more of these yeah. really cool hats and visors. Again, 
A lot of games going to be 1 p.m. It is hot. Mm -hmm. Very the hot. Sun is out there. It will get you. You got to survive all four quarters. Yep. And don't forget, you can buy a lot of this stuff, all of this stuff, on fanatics.com, which is a local company. And they've really invested billions of dollars into that company. And, you know, of course, being a hometown team, they are all Jaguars and all in. So you're going to find some great stuff on fanatics.com for mm -hmm. there as well. And Nikki, it looks like they've really been busy in the offseason getting new merchandise, getting new designs, because there's... What are, we're looking at like 18 different styles yeah. of hats right it's here. Great. All I the mean, different shirts, those shoes, those gold shoes are really, really cool. I think you guys are going to really love this. Faster, and, here's, and here's the great thing. If you're in the U.S.'s Shore Clubs, no matter if you're on the east or the west side, there's going to be an area where you can buy any of this while you're here watching the game. Yeah, so that is certainly cool. And if you want to get it, you can't wait until the first game. Go to our website, newsforjacks.com. We have posted a link to their website and how you can get this cool merchandise. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us for this special edition. We hope you loved your first look at these brand new U.S. Assure Clubs. We'll see you on game day.